Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative points of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Um, so there is something that I keep picking up about like a bank account. Like there's somebody trying to steal some money out of a bank account. So it's like you get a check and you go to deposit the check and somebody goes in there. If they're not able to go in person and impersonate you to get the money out of the account, they are trying to do it through means of hacking into a system, withdrawing that money and transferring it into their account. I just heard back into their account. So this could be someone that gave you a check and they're trying to take it back. Uh, so what it is, is that they're planning to hack into wherever bank you are with, because this is somebody that's that's been monitoring your account to see uh, what's going in and out of it, how much money you have in there, blah, 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 blah. Um, so they're, they're, they're planning on how to hack in there. They may have even figured it out already. Like they've been monitoring your account, the bank you're with, how that bank is set up, their, their uh, internal uh, uh, coding and things like that to see how they can bypass all of that to take that money out of your account. Uh, so just be very vigilant. Maybe go to your bank and let them know that you are a little bit concerned about your uh, account privacy uh, and security and see what measures they can put in place to secure your money and things like that. Um, I also had a flash, a, a premonition of uh, like someone like you walk, let's say you, since we're talking about a bank, let's say you walk to the bank and there's a specific path that you take to go to the bank. Um, someone is planning on putting some type of gate somewhere that it's not supposed to be so that you don't have a way to get to your bank. So then when something is happening and you need to get to the bank, you're not able to access your money to kind of take care of business. There's someone, someone is, I don't know what's wrong with someone's mental but it's, it's really disturbing. It's that someone wants you to be in some type of re really horrible, poor, and just just like just very impoverished state for them to come in and give you some type of frivolous friendship, some type of false offer so that you can be dependent on this person. Uh, God forbid you end up moving in with them. You're at their mercy because they at any time they can put you out and things like that. If someone is trying to set up a situation where you are so desperate that you you need to reach out to them. And by all means, by God's grace, your ancestors are watching over you. You're never going to need this person. God is going to look out for you. The universe is looking out for you where you never have to look uh, to this person for assistance. Someone is very wicked. Someone's very uh, dark. Uh, very insecure. Someone, I don't know if they thought, if this is an ex, this will be someone that thought you were going to go back to them. Like, like they were waiting for something bad to happen to you so that you can reach out to them for help. If this is just someone you are acquainted with, uh, they may have some type of desire for you. Maybe it's not reciprocated. I don't know what this is, but they're trying to set up some type of scenario where you need them. So you'll have to reach out to them for help. So, but the disaster that's happening is something that was caused by them. Okay. So just be very careful who you're reaching out to. I know Things can get hard in life and complicated in life, but be very careful that you're not reaching out to like a karmic or warlock for assistance and then you end up in a trap with them, okay? I also picked up on a masculine that has been being groomed by a coven. Um, there's a queen of swords, reverse practitioner, reverse high priestess, reverse. This is not someone that's gifted at all. She, uh, she and a queen of pentacles in a the community, they're not gifted at all, don't have any gift in their body um, because of the kind of energy that they reside in <clears throat> but they have groomed a masculine on how to manipulate you how to do something so it's like playing with your emotions and things like that uh, they, they've 
They've told them what to say, how to act, not to do something overboard, but just specifically how to act, how to how to talk. If they're coming into your energy to cry and things like that, they're, they've told him like how how to cry, basically, basically how to manipulate and play with your energy so that you can feel remorse for this person and you can get back in a, a, a connection with them or you can uh, mend things with them. This is not somebody you're meant to. You're meant to uh, reconcile with. Someone is out here in the reverse. Knight of Cups in the reverse. So this is somebody that's very disingenuous. This is someone that uh, gaslights. They play with people's emotions. They're just coming in to manipulate you and things like that. Like whatever this is, is very dark. Very insidious and things like that. So just be very cautious of who this is that's coming towards you. To cause you illusions. and So that you can juggle your options out here. Juggle your ten of pentacles and things like that. Because you are an empress and you do have a very abundant um, abundant future. But just be very careful of who it is that's coming towards you from the past. Um, because they're doing nothing but trying to cause you still me. Someone has been working with a family. Like a very greedy family that's more than likely fighting behind the scenes. They're out here in the reverse as well. This person has been working with them. Uh, on how to stop you, how to block you, how to cause still myths and things like that. At some point, something's going to be kind of just redundant and outdone, overplayed, overdone, and things like that. Um, but it's like this is some of their last efforts to deter you off of your path, off of your destiny. Um, so whoever this is that's coming to you, you're not in love right now. Uh, if they want to work with you, they're all, that's awesome. You two work together if you want to, but don't fall in love with this person. Don't. Like what I mean to is don't reconcile with whoever this person is and just could be someone maybe you had a family with someone you uh had a friendship with the family dynamic is over between you and you and them but they've often working on stopping you causing you still mates and things of that nature it's a whole family in reverse this could be like a couple but what I'm also getting is a family uh, where there's like no type of wish fulfillment, there's no genuine connections among, among this family. They don't really even like each other. It's a lot of competition, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing, uh, and they're trying to figure out how they can stop you. They're looking into ways that they can stop you from moving forward, from continuing on continuing on your destiny and things like that. There's a lot of manipulations going on. You could have someone out here that has been pretending. Um, that maybe they they uh were working with you. I've been seeing getting something about that where it's like it's like someone's trying to pretend like they thought you had to do something. And I remember I made a a video on this before quite a couple of times when initially when I started my uh, platform. Uh, someone has been out here pretending like they maybe show you how to do something. You and them have been working together. You didn't work with nobody. They didn't show you how to do anything. Most of the things you know how to do, this person don't even know how to do. Someone is already not even aware of any of your most of the gifts that you have. Maybe they watch your platform or something like that, or they see you at your nine to five and they see the basic things you do, but they don't know anything else that you do behind closed doors. So what you're capable of doing, someone is not even capable of doing it. So someone has been pretending to be your mentor and things like that, but they don't know how to do half of the things you do. Kind of like the Queen of Swords reverse that I uh, mentioned, who uh, is a, a, a high priestess reverse with that Queen of Pentacles reverse. They don't, they don't really have any gifts. They're not gifted, they're not skilled, not talented, nothing. All they know how to do is manipulate from behind the scenes. They don't do anything up front. They're not going to do anything in your face because you're going to see right through them and put them on the spot because they don't have any gifts. They, they literally only know how to manipulate, how to cheat, how to steal. That's all. That's not gifts. Those are not gifts. Okay? Those are low vibrational activities that show that you're insecure, you're not healed, you're not willing to do the work to heal. It's things like that. Um, so you may have someone out here saying that they've worked with you, you and them work together, you started something together. This could even be a masculine that's doing this, but they didn't do anything with it. You didn't work with anyone. I remember even, um, and I'm kind of, I'm not shocked that this example is coming up. This story is coming up. When I started my platform before people started tempering with it and things like that, um, I remember there was someone that used to post in the comment section when, um, when I had the comments open, uh, because I used to get really exhausted and things like that. Like I, I knew what to do to get my strength back, but I was just kind of lazy with it. Um, like I, I, I would get like really tired. Like after about two downloads, two messages, I would just feel so exhausted and things like that because I was still getting used to, uh, doing divination really on screen and things like that for people. Right. 
Um, and I remember I had mentioned that in my videos and some and stuff like that. And someone got on there and said, Oh, you know, go do go drink some water and you know, do this and do that. I'm just like, Yeah, water ain't gonna cut it. Uh, but I remember when the person posted that, I just <clears throat> felt like this energy where it's like someone was trying to prove to another person that. Oh, yeah, see, I told you I'm the one that showed her how to do this. I'm the one that uh, that uh, has the skills and things like that. But they said, nah, water ain't going to cut it. Like, they're, they're, water is not going to help you get your strength. I mean, water is good. I'm not saying don't drink water. I drink water 90% of the time over anything else. Um, but water is not going to cut it. Water is not going to give you back your energy and things like that. But you need to rest. And there are other things that you probably need to do, uh, which I'm not going to say on here. But I remember I just, she, she, the person got in there and they're like, oh, go drink some water. I'm like, oh, yeah, water ain't gonna cut it. But okay, I never responded to the comment. I just kind of looked at them and, oh, this is one of those wannabes. Like, they want people to, they want people to feel like they know something about something. They know what they're doing. But it's like, nah, drinking water ain't for to do nothing. It's just gonna be like, oh, okay, you've hydrated yourself. Uh, but you're still going to need to do something else until your body can get used to doing uh, messages and things like that. There are other things you have to do besides drinking water. But it just seemed like somebody was trying to impress another person. And I also remember, like, there are people going... Like, there was, like, two people going back and forth in my comment section that this very same energy would get into my comment section and post, like, stupid stuff in there. And one day I decided to respond to it. Um... And it said she was trying to get me or he was trying to get me out of, I'm going to say, I'm going to leave it general, he, she, uh, they were trying to get me out of some type of, uh, uh, balanced energy. Like they didn't want me to feel secure in what I was doing. They wanted to distract me and make me feel like I wasn't good enough for what I was doing. And I've never been somebody that gets too damn about what people think of me, what I do, what I don't do. I've never been that way. Maybe I come across like I do. I really don't give two S what you think. Um, but I remember like the person kept getting in there and making comments about, oh, you don't, uh, something about your mind, you have a misconception or you don't know what you're doing, something of that nature. And I remember I put in there that like, you need to go here so you don't feel the need to, you know, get in people comment sessions and go back and forth with yourself. Cause she was going back and forth with herself for a long time, just putting comments in there. And I finally decided to kind of entertain her nonsense or uh, his nonsense and somebody else jumped in there and told him or her, uh-huh, oh, they got you on that one. I'm like, these people are so childish. Like, what is this nonsense? Like, you all don't see the problem with what it is you're doing. Like, you, th these are grown folks getting in people's comment section to make them feel insecure. But you're supposed to be the grown-up. Like, you, how do you even make sense of that? Like, like it's sick. You're mentally sick. And you don't, you don't see it or you don't know it or you're in denial that you are sick. That's a mental illness to be your age and getting some into somebody's comment session, trying to figure out ways on how to make them feel unworthy, uneasy, uh, unqualified, and things like that for what it is they are doing. And you don't even have any qualifications. You don't have the gifts. You don't have the skills. You don't have the talent. Don't know anything about it. Just pretending to. It's like, what is wrong with you? What are we doing here? When are you going to grow up? When are you going to heal? When are you going to be, when are you going to act your age? Like, we're not holding our breaths, but when? Something like that. So just be very cautious um, of those kind of energies. It's that people just wanting you to feel like you are inadequate or something. Because it's a whole collaboration. And that's what I've been picking up um, o um, over the past several months that I've been doing my channel. It's, it's a whole collaboration of people just not acting their age. Just being like really like just immature, but they don't want you to tell them that they are immature, that they are sick. Whatever you all are doing is sick. You're mentally, you're coming across as mentally sick, mentally unstable. It's very karmic. You haven't learned the lessons you're supposed to learn in life. But as you can see, the person you're coming after, this queen of wands, is learning the lessons, which is why we got that eight of pentacles. I mean, that page of pentacles out here. That person is learning the lessons they're meant to learn, which means that they're ascending as you all keep declining, descending, and things like they just just going backwards in life. It's like, what are you doing? Like, you're, you're waking up every day and just digressing in life, and you don't see a problem with it. But because you have such a hate 
and disdain for another human being, you're like, oh, I don't care. We're, we're going to keep doing it. We're going to keep going. But it's okay. There's karma coming for you all, and it's going on right now. Even whoever you've hired to do something in here, which is what I've been picking up on for several months, you're going through karma. Is somebody bitter doing or something to somebody else? They say, yeah, I know it's the end for me. Yeah, I know we ain't getting back together. Yeah, I know you're not going to stop doing what it is you're doing. We can't get you off your destiny, but I'm going to keep doing this. You can keep doing this, and things are just going to keep getting worse for you. Like, the universe wants you to know they have unlimited options of how they can make your life miserable. So, by all means, keep doing something. Keep doing something. Like, uh, collective, I'm being told to tell you to stay strong, keep going with something, don't give up on your dreams. Uh, your strength is going to get you through this. The universe is getting you through it as well. Yeah, like, you got people, um, maybe, maybe they're even afraid of you retaliating and things like that. But like I told you, right, whoever is coming in to gaslight you, they don't have any genuine intentions. This is what they are coming in to do, is to sabotage you, gaslight you so that they can destroy you. Destroy your confidence, destroy your work, uh, sabotage you and things like that. Play with your mental, play with your emotions. Like right now, I'm saying like the, your, your strength. They want to dismantle your strength. Like what I'm saying, right? Whoever is coming towards you is not a friend. This is not a friend in need, a friend in need. This is a karmic. This is someone that has been mentored. They've been tutored on how to play with your emotions, how to gaslight you. Uh, think of like... This is the even the far extent someone will go to. Like they said, they give you money and you go and put it into your account. That person is gonna go behind the scenes and figure out how to take that money out of the account. Now you run, you, you maybe you are desperate for money and you reach out to them. You say, Oh my gosh, the money you gave me, somebody went and took out of my account. And they're like, Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Really? Oh my gosh, like I'm so sorry to hear that. Let's see if we can work something out. You know, maybe I can lend you some money. They lend you money, right? And then you end up in a bind to this person. Now you gotta pay them this money. You don't got no money right now. It's gonna take you for a while to pay that. That is the extent these people are going through. You may even have somebody that they're sending in your energy to cry on you and things like that just so you can give up on something, just so you can let go of something. Because if you win, they lose. If your kingdom is established, their kingdom falls from grace. So it's something like that. You need to keep going. Like you see this five, you can't see it, but the five of pentacles to the strength, you need to keep going. I don't care how hard or how uh, destitute something looks is looks or how uh, 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 uh unenthusiastic something may look maybe you're looking at the future you're projecting into the future with your mind's eyes and maybe you feel like something doesn't look promising it, it does it's promising do not give up on anything you're doing listen to your intuition balance things out keep on working and co-creating with the universe everything is being balanced out for you and it's your your, your your harvest is coming in quickly. Like, they're trying to sabotage your strength and stop you from working, from committing, from being disciplined, from... Like, I just heard from posting. So, this would have to do with, like, a platform. They don't want you... I was literally about to say from posting. They don't want you posting. So, you could be someone that has a social media platform or you work with content creators and things like that. They don't want you doing all of that because you know there are people that manage manage uh, social media platforms and things like that where they will offer you uh, 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 or they'll come in and they'll manage your posting. Like They'll make sure your, things, your content is posted on the date and time that it's supposed to be. You just create the content and you let them know that everything is ready for posting, right? And they schedule the posting, things like that. But they don't want you doing your work. So they're trying to send someone in to play with you so that you can, you know, have a new friend that you don't know is gaslighting you, playing with you. This person has been working with this family behind the scenes, I'm telling you, um, to uh, hinder your forward movement and things like that. This could be a King of Cups reverse. Uh, or there's a King of Cups reverse they're trying to deter from coming towards you. Maybe this is someone that's seen this family for who they are and things like that. And he's choosing to balance something out. And maybe trying to stop him too from balancing something out. Like something has been going on for a very long time. They don't want him to fix it. They don't want him to heal it. They don't want him to recover something. So it's a whole lot of battles going on behind the scenes. You could have another Queen of Wands behind the scene that's very angry. This is someone that's very jealous and insecure so it's two different queen of wands one is very jealous and insecure this is someone that's been by uh pretending like she's wholesome and things like that and it's like the truth is out this is someone that's very jealous of you okay 
you the, the the privileged lady you the wealthy woman now when i say wealthy or privileged it does not mean that you have a whole bunch of abundance in life and things like that you could be someone that's spiritually abundant it just hasn't manifested yet but you're still you're still a wealthy woman you could just be someone that takes care of yourself you're self-sufficient uh you are not you know out here with your hand out and things like that whereas this could be like a queen of wands that depends on people for money like this is a gold digger or something and maybe she is bothered by your energy maybe she's bothered that the king, king of cups wants to work something out with you maybe she's bothered that the king of cups may have a lot of desires for you whatever this is so she's been working really hard to stop that to deter that from happening okay prevent that from happening excuse me uh, but whatever this is, just thread with caution. You do, you do have someone coming in uh, with a lot of just intense energies, okay? They don't even really know how to fix their emotions. The fact that they're showing up here as a Knight of Cups in reverse, which, which means you're going to see right through this person. It's nothing where they can be like, oh my gosh, I haven't seen you in a long time. You're like, oh my God, hi, Billy, how are you doing? Or hi, Susie, how are you doing? You're just going to be like, oh, I know this mother effer ain't coming at. Please don't come towards me. Please don't sit next to me. Don't sit. Don't say nothing to me. Here they go, coming next to you, sitting next to you you and talking to you and the whole time they are afraid right because they know you're going to see right through them these people are very afraid of your strength they don't want you to keep going and that's why they're sending this person in to gaslight you okay i don't even know how i'm going to uh, title this video but it'll be very straight and direct straight to the point you know hopefully yeah they're afraid of an emperor uh working with you giving you some type of assistance and i don't know who this emperor is but people are very afraid of an emperor balancing things out with you having emotions for you if it's if it's even something where they've grown this emperor um on how to manipulate you and you two end up in a partnership they are afraid that this emperor is still going to fall in love with you but what i'm really picking up on is that there could be something going on in this uh, emperor's family where something is being exposed about them um and uh yeah something is being exposed to them about the family or whatever this is families in reverse there's some type of injustice playing out some type of uh it could be like a bad karma someone is going through bad karma okay so i don't know if an emperor is balancing something out and giving someone a taste of their own medicine or something like that i don't know what this is okay there could be something like that um where it's like an emperor is administering some type of justice some type of karma against another masculine for something that they did i i don't know what this is i don't know what this is it's that someone has been doing something behind the scenes and there is some type of <sighs> there's some some type of justice playing out oh uh, I'm seeing the Queen of Wands to the Temperance to the King of Pentacles. So I don't know if something is being balanced out for a Queen of Wands and a Queen of, and a and a King of Pentacles who are supposed to be working together, but there's somebody that's trying to affect that. They're trying to to hinder that from happening. Okay, they're trying to hinder that from happening. Yeah, they're trying to hinder that from happening. It's some type of judgment someone has made. So it's like you make a decision to fix something, to mend something, okay? Balance something out, reconcile or something like that, right? And somebody else does not want you want you doing that or a group does not want you doing that. So they're doing something. They're working hard to temper with something, to have something not play out the way it's supposed to. So if this man, this king wants to come towards you to balance something out, fix something with you, they don't want him doing that. So they may be trying to cause him problems, cause him legal issues and things like that. He could be in a lot of heartache right now, a lot of uh, uh, painful, going through a lot of painful experiences right now because of what these people are doing to him. Um, maybe you don't know um, as well. I don't know if he's working hard to get himself out of some type of sticky situation it could be like some type of conflict going on behind the scenes that you're not aware of so this king or this emperor could be caught up in this drama with these people in regards to you trying to fix something that these people have broken there could be something where it's like it's like people are trying to take what belongs to you or they're trying to stop you from achieving some type of goal or something yeah they're trying to stop you too from 
They're trying to stop you from achieving some type of goal. They're trying to stop you in this masculine. This came from uh, coming together, from meeting, from working together. But this man is very strong. Uh, so there's something where you're going to have to like fight your way through this. And I don't mean like a physical fight. I just mean like being very determined to make it to your destination. So if you're trying to go to an empress, like the queen of wands in the upright, if you're trying to go to meet with them, you're going to have to get sophisticated and crafty with the way you do it. Um, because there's a whole lot of efforts to stop you from balancing out some type of karma. Some type of bringing justice into some type of situation. So you've made the decision, right, to work really hard to be able to come together with this person. And hopefully it's for the right reasons, right? Because you want to work with this person. You may have a contract you want to give them. And I don't know, like, what this is in regards to. Maybe there's some type of work contract or there's some type of uh, 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 business proposal, Maybe you may be interested in this person. You two may have like a past life connection and things like that. This could be someone that's part of your soul tribe, uh, your cosmic family tribe and things like that. And people are very pissed off about this. Yeah, so it's not this emperor that is trying to help you. It's the king that's... And I, I'm trying to be careful not to even say the, the kings that are doing it because you know we got four different kings in the deck. But there is a king that's working hard to come to you to work something out with you. But then you got an emperor and other people that are very pissed off about it. Like the group, um, they are collaborating on how to cause problems. This is all they know how to do. So which is kind of relevant at the, from the beginning of this read when I said that, uh, that these, the, the people don't got no gifts. They don't have any talents, no skills, nothing. All they know how to do is manipulate. So this is all they're doing is manipulating the situation. Uh, so that two people don't end up working together, two people don't end up coming together, or you don't end up meet, uh, arriving at your destination or something like that, okay? Um, yeah, they're trying to, trying to have something not go in your favor because we have the justice to the queen of swords in the upright. So they are trying to make sure that some type of justice does not play out in your favor, but it will, uh, so... This is a lot of commitment. And there are people that are very angry about you and this person coming together. You and this person healing something. You and this person having options, building something together, working hard. Like you are in the upright. You're being seen as somebody that's in the upright. They may be even afraid of you retaliating and suing these people because there's evidence of what they've been doing. These people got careless. They felt invincible. Uh, it's like they, they felt like they had numbers, they had power, maybe they have an institution behind them, and there's a tower going on. Yeah, absolutely. So there's something where it's like they stand to lose a lot, and this is why they are so gung-ho to destroy you and this man or block you two from coming together. This man is standing his ground. He's being practical and things like that, and he's still going to be making it to you. Exactly. Still going to be making it to you. So there could be some type of like, oh my gosh, where is this coming from? How do they have this? What's going on? Blah, 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 blah. Like they're going to try to figure out what I'm telling you. <laughs> it's still going to happen. You two are still going to meet. There's nothing they can do. They be very cautious though when this person... Because I just put the edge of swords down and some something, I don't know if my hand hit it and it tilted. Just be very cautious that this person is 100% straightforward with you. But I do see this person coming up in the seven of wands, which means there's someone that's in the upright. But people are trying to block the two of you from coming together. Because if you come together, uh, it's going to be some type of very powerful dynamic. Like a power... A powerful duo, powerful couple, power couple, whatever the heck they call it. But this is the kind of union or collaboration that's actually very genuine. It's based on principle. It's based on ethics, uh, uh, discipline, uh, loyalty, and things like that. So there may be something where someone you don't know may have some type of loyalty to you because they understand you. Maybe they've, they are aware of you and they have some type of loyalty to you that you are not privy to. So then you probably need to reciprocate the same loyalty to this person because someone has gone through quite a lot to get to you. Whoever this man is, Vebi, he has gone through a lot to get to you. People have been trying to cause towers for him, causing him problems and things like that. Uh, just trying to make life absolutely difficult for him. 
um, trying to prevent him from reconciling with you or giving you an offer, giving you a contract, meeting with you, seeing you for who you are and things like that. And you got a queen of wands out here, not you, the one in reverse in this community that's very angry at your discipline, at your work, your determination, your loyalty. You have... You, you are like the Ten of Wands or the Knight of Pentacles. So that means you are very hardworking. You're someone very loyal. Whatever offer you have coming into you from whoever is very solid. We got the Ace of Cups. It's a source out here. So someone is going to end up confessing to you. So even if they send someone in, let's say to come and gaslight you to play with you. Uh, either someone else is going to end up telling you the truth or whoever that is, is going to like your energy is just so pure. You may be someone that's just so innocent and things like that. It may end up confessing to you of what has really been going on. Who did what, who didn't do what, something like that. Um, you be, be cautious because there could be like a group that is still paying for something to be done to you. Okay. Someone, th there's still people paying for something to be done to you. And they are trying to do this so that you can feel like something is never going to be over. But in reality, in reality, things are really over for these people. And maybe this, these are like their last efforts to keep blocking you or to keep doing something. But really, they are the one in, uh, 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 in living in fear right now, going through anxiety, desperate to have something go in their favor. It's not going in their favor. It's a lot of karma playing out for these people and this is just the beginning of their karma um so these people are about are about to be going through blockages and still mates and things like that is that basically what they've been uh, uh dishing out there for you is about to be reciprocated to them so if they've been trying to uh, uh stop your work they're about to be losing their jobs and going through some type of like of income and for a very long time going through some type of karma cycle if they've been trying to block a union, somebody's about, about to go through like a, a breakup, a divorce, some type of separation, okay? Trying to have your kids taken away from you. They're about to end up in some type of court proceedings with CPS, may end up losing their kids because uh, somebody does not take care of their kids like they're supposed to. They're more so focused on destroying your life. So instead of them taking care of their children, they've been neglecting either their child or their children. Because I see something here with a page of pentacles, five of pentacles, kind of energy, knight of cups reverse, ten of cups reverse. So there's a kid in a situation that's not receiving the kind of care that they need. So someone may end up facing CPLS uh, problems, uh, have their kid taken away from them or something like that. Because these are all the energies they were putting out here for you, trying to have your kids taken away from you. Have you rejected not being able to work, stealing your money and things like that, taking money away from you? Uh, you could have a king of pen, king of cups that is logging into sit into uh, accounts and things like that. Maybe this is the one trying to steal your money. Maybe this is the one that has been blocking you from growing. Uh, because I remember when I said stop, uh, your stop something or whatever I said earlier, the uh, posting was about to come up. So maybe they want you to stop posting, and they've been, you know. Uh, slowing down your numbers and things like that so that you uh, can feel like discouraged on, on, on continuing your platform and things like that, but it's not working. You are being advised basically to keep going. What these people want to do is sabotage your strength and your discipline, your commitment uh, to your path, to your work. Okay. And it's not, it, it's it, something like this is just not feasible. Because it's that they didn't even start doing this yesterday. Something could have been going on for like uh, 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 almost a couple of years or something. Or a year or uh, uh, almost a year for some of you. <clears throat> Five years, whatever this is. And maybe some people are new on board. Maybe there are people that used to be part of it that have walked away. But what this is, it's like it's just not feasible what it is they're doing. Because if you've been doing something for so long and you re and you see that it's the person is still moving on, they're still going with their work, they're still doing their work, it's not feasible to keep doing something, especially if you are stealing or taking money away from somebody for the work that they're doing, right? So they're working and you're taking money away or you're stopping them from receiving money, but they're still working. That means that they're doing whatever it is they're doing based on merit. Not, not exactly because of the financial benefits of it, but because it's part of who they are. This is 
more than, more than likely they're calling. This is what they're meant to do. So they're not doing it for the money because they know whenever they are in need, the universe is going to provide what it is that they need, okay? So you uh, may want something, but you want it for the wrong reason. There could be someone in here that pretends to be gifted and talented, maybe the queen of wands uh, with the devil below her. She could be there pretending to be gifted, but this is just someone that's toxic. The reason why they're wanting to do something is not the same reason why the person in the upright wants to do it. She wants to do it for money so she can look good, have to find the things in life, whereas somebody else is doing it because it is... Uh, it uplifts other people. It helps other people see things from a different perspective. It raises the vibration for the communities and the masses of the group, people that are watching them. Um, it is healing and things like that, right? It's part of their calling. Something is not part of somebody's calling. So it don't matter how hard they try to come across as being gifted, talented, skilled in whatever field this is. It's not meant for them. It's not meant for them. They haven't done the work to have these gifts activated in them. You got to heal. You got to put in the work. And as you heal, your third eye will start to open. And this is part of the reason I also get so, so upset when I see people are like, oh, listen to this heart. In, 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 in three minutes, your third eye will be permanently open. That's not how it works. That is not how it works. <laughs> Those kind of titles are misleading and they agitate me to the core of my soul. It's like, that hearts listening to a 963 hearts, the God frequency is not going to open your third eye in three minutes. Listening to the uh, 438 is not going to open your eyes in uh, 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 in three minutes. Listening to 532, any any kind of hearts you listen to, it's not going to open your third eye in any amount of time. And you got to put in the work to heal. That means addressing all of your problems. Okay, when something comes up, instead of running from it, like you're sitting and emotions start coming up, instead of trying to push them back down and re uh, 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 avoid them, you actually address those emotions. That's part of what healing is. And you're not going to address all of those emotions and heal from them in one day. It takes time. But people like these, they don't want to have to do that work. So they don't mind coming out here being sick because what you're doing is sick. You have a mental illness, basically. This is sick. What you're doing is sick. And maybe people haven't told you all that or you know that and you just don't care, but you're sick. It's like you, you the sick person. You're trying to prove to everybody else that the healed person is the sick person. And every video I do, the person keeps coming up the scene. Either a temperance energy, star energy, empress energy, or the magician, an ascended master, right? Or a hermit. So you can't even fool anybody or they'll come up as a queen of cups. You can't fool anybody and tell them that that person is sick. They're, they're not. You can go to the highest paid practitioner in the world to find out about whoever it is you're so uh, 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 bothered by, you're so obsessed with, you're, you're a groupie at this point, number one fan, but in denial. You can go to the highest paid practitioner in the world. One, they're going to tell you you're obsessed with this person. And two, they're going to tell you this is the real deal. Nobody cares if you want to hear it or not. So you can keep paying all the money you want. You can keep sending people into this person's energy to deceive them. It ain't going to do nothing. When somebody can see you before you even make your plans, if they know your plans before you even carry your plans out, that should already tell you that someone is uh, dangerously gifted. So it's that like you before you even plan something, somebody already knows what you're going to do. But you're still trying to prove that this is not a real practitioner. This is not a real queen of cups. This is not a real temperance energy. This person is not a real a, a hermit, the magician. They're not a real magician. They're not a real ascended master. It's like, what are we doing here? What are we doing here, Bessie? Because time and time again, you all have been going to these readers and they've been telling you the same thing. They say, yeah, this is the real deal. People don't even want to deal with you all anymore. You go to practitioners that they don't want to work with you. So you got to stick to the dark ones. The good ones that went and worked with you going through problems, the ones that they know what it is you are, are about, they don't shut their doors to you and say, oh, no, I don't want to work with you. I don't want to work with you. It's that you. There's somebody that went, I picked up on this a while back. Somebody went to a practitioner in the upright, a light worker. <laughs> they tried to get her to look into another practitioner's life. Okay. They tried to get her to do some type of reading that just was unholy. And what did he know about this woman is that she was going to do her research. As in, she was going to look into their energy, the person making the request, and the person they're asking about. 
finds out that, hey, this is someone very solid. I probably would like to hang out with this person. They're just like me. Like, I asked with this person. I don't know them. And what I picked up on is that these two practitioners, the two light workers, started communicating telepathically. You're dumb, dumb. You go into somebody that you don't even know is part of another person's soul tribe. So it's like you went to a practitioner. Lord, and this is how I know you all don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Ooh, you went to a practitioner to get a reading on another practitioner. These are two light workers. Only for both of them to find out they are part of the same soul tribe. I mean, these two are on, like, like they could literally be like sisters or something in the, in the physical. But in the spirit, they're part of the same soul tribe. Got the same energy, kind of the similar energy, right? Like maybe, like, like personality-wise, these two are are probably the same. Like these two communicate spiritually, okay? Like one of them is probably, yeah, they try to tell me to uh, do this nonsense. Like, like this lady you all went to, like the sister is like 100% solid. And it ain't nothing you can do to get her out of that energy. Someone that's not, she's like the person you're, you're, you're trying to bother. She don't do her work for money. I picked up on this a whole while ago. Sister don't do her work for money. She does it for the love of it. She loves what she does. Wakes up every day. Looking forward to doing her work. Because she knows her job, it, it, it makes a difference in the lives of the people she serves. That's what I said. Do things based on merit. The love of it. So maybe you all feel like if you keep doing some type of scarcity tactic, keep taking money away, take, taking numbers away, slowing something down, someone is going to be like, oh my gosh, I got to stop doing this. Oh my gosh, I can't. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Because part of the, this person's contract that you are trying to, to get off their path is to show the universe that they are disciplined and committed to their path. It's like, if you're not making any money out of this, let's see if you're going to keep doing what it is we told you to do. If nobody is supporting you while you're doing this, let's see if you're going to keep doing what we told you to do. Hear that we told you to do. So that means the universe told this person that this is what they are supposed to be doing at this time of their life. So they're testing. You think you're the one testing this person, but you're not. The universe is the one testing this person. Is that let's see how committed you are to, to your path. Let's see if you're going to listen and do what it is we instructed you to do. Even if other people don't understand what it is we have you doing. Because some of you could be out here being forced religious people. You want people to feel like your way of thinking is the only way, is the best way. Even though you're not even committed to your way of thinking. False indoctrinated people. So you're out here saying, oh... We're supposed to be believe in Jesus Christ and, you know, he's the one and true God, but you don't got no relationship with Jesus Christ. You don't got no relationship with the triumph God, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. You don't got a relationship with any of them. You're not able to manifest nothing because you don't got a relationship with any of these beings. None of them. But you want to get out and prove that... Somebody's way of living is not the right way because it makes you feel uncomfortable. Why does it make you feel uncomfortable? Because you don't have those gifts. You don't know how to do what it is they do. It's outward. It's otherworldly. It's supernatural. You're incapable of doing it. It's only supernatural because the world has made it like that. It's only otherworldly. It's only abnormal because the world has made it that way. All of these gifts are common in everybody. Like I said, everybody has these gifts. But some people, it's not activated in them because they're still asleep. Meaning, i.e., you all, you're still asleep. So these gifts are not activated in you all. Okay? But because you're not awakened, you're not on the path that you're supposed to be in, or on, excuse me, when you see people that are actually on their path, you'll label them what schizophrenic, mentally unstable, mentally ill, emotionally imbalanced this is what you call light workers but let alone but but yet alone they're telling you about problems that are going on in your life and they don't know you from a can of paint don't know you from atoms don't hang out with you or nothing how is that 
How is it that someone can tell you you don't take care of your kid? You're, you're so focused on other people. You're too busy stalking other people. How can somebody tell you you and your partner, you're not loyal to one another? Your partner is allowed to go out and do whatever they, they want as long as what? They come back home. How is somebody able to tell you you're emotionally imbalanced? You're a gaslighter. How? How is somebody able to tell you that you're jealous? You're doing something out of jealousy and hatred. How are they able to tell you all of that? Well, how can somebody tell you what it is you went through in your childhood? If they're, if they're not gifted, if they're not the real deal, if they're on the wrong path, but you can't look at that person and tell them anything about them, but they can look at you and tell you exactly everything you need to know about yourself, your personality, the, even about the way you walk, they can tell you exactly who you are. Which reminds me, I went to uh, Verizon the other day and this brother, he, we were talking and he was asking me what I do. I said, oh, I, I do content. He said, what kind of content you do? I said, oh, you know, I don't really talk to people about it. I try to keep that to myself. And I picked up on the brother, had a little bit of an intuition, like, you know. <laughs> he said, oh, what do you do? Why don't you want to tell me? You should want to tell me so I can watch it. I said, no, nah, it's a little bit different. He said, different as in uh, Miss Cleo or whatever. I said, oh, I said, yeah, I kind of like that. He said, oh, so, you know, you can tell me about, you know, this and that about myself. I said, yeah, it was with your cars and stuff. And I'm looking at, mm, not, not specifically, I don't need my cars to, but he said, um, well, why wouldn't you tell me what's your, your, your channel's name? I said, no, nah, I don't, I don't want to do all of that. Um, he said, for me, I don't want to find out. So, you know, I'm never going to ask you for a reading and things like that. You know, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, you can't, you don't got to worry about me. I don't want to know the future. And I said, well, that's okay. There are people that want to know the future. And then there are people that don't want to know the future. That's okay. We got a mix of everybody. Um, you know, we got people that are awakening and people that are not awakening and it's set up that way for a reason, right? Um, because if everybody was awakening, then why are we here? We're not all there yet. Um, but it got to a thing where he, it was that he thought that I needed the tarot deck in my hands and I needed to use the deck to tell him about himself. And it was just like, in that moment, I realized like how dumbed down the world has made us, like how dumbed down we are, where we actually think that people have to have paper. They have to have this paper. To be able to tell us about ourselves, is it? I didn't tell him that I don't need the paper, but I just said, "Oh well, yeah, it's okay." I, I wasn't going to ask you to give your reading because we real practitioners, we never ask you. We don't ask you to come get a reading from us. You'll never see a genuine practitioner do that. Never. They will never. <laughs> they will never offer you a reading. They're not going to tell you, oh, you know, like the ones that I see, $5, $7, $12 readings. They're never going to do that. They're not going to beg you for a reading or ask you to come to them so they can give you a reading. Maybe initially some of them, when they start their their, their uh, divination journey, they may offer you so that they can practice and things like that. But it's not something where you say, oh, I come here so I can do you this reading. Come here so I can do you this reading for 20. No, people that do those things, they're in it for the wrong reasons. But I just found it real interesting how he thought that I needed the paper to be able to read him. He said, I don't need the paper. You're literally in my energy. That's all I need. I just need to be like, I don't even like, listen, I'm so cool with my stuff these days. I don't got to be around you to pick up on you. So you'll have people who are like, oh, you know, don't go around them. They're going to pick up on this and I don't got to be around you. <laughs> and that's when I realized that the world has us all dumbed down. That we actually feel like people have to have tarot decks to be able to do readings on us. Real practitioners, they don't need the tarot decks. The tarot decks are there for uh, 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 entertainment purposes is what I call it. <laughs> Some of some of us, like myself, I use the tarot deck for comfort. It makes me feel comfortable. It makes me feel relaxed looking at the pictures and things like that. But I don't need these papers <laughs> to tell you. <laughs> to tell you what it is you need to know. It's nice to have the paper. The papers help. These are tools. And any type of anyone, any practitioner that is actually like doing something for the, doing this for the right reasons, they'll tell you 
You're not supposed to rely on the deck for your gifts. You don't want to become codependent on the deck for your gifts. Your metaphysical uh, uh, schooling and education, it'll, they'll tell you the same thing as well. These tools are just there to help you not be you. Right? So I don't need these. But I just found it interesting that the brother thought that I needed a tarot deck in my hands, you know, shuffling it to be able to tell him. He said, no, brother, I don't need none of that. <laughs> As a matter of fact, <laughs> I'm right here. You're right here. That's all I need. <laughs> <coughs> don't go shaking my hands either. <laughs> it was just like, I just found it like, because because I started reflecting like how I used to be because I grew up very religious. We went to church every Sunday. Uh, never missed a day, a, a Sunday of church, unless you were absolutely sick and couldn't go, or, or we were, you know, some type of horrible situation. That's the only time my mom didn't let us go to church, but we went to church every Sunday. Every Sunday we went to church. Didn't learn nothing there, uh, because I was left with too many questions, in my opinion. Okay. Um, but I remember I have been so programmed to be that way when I had kids of my own. I, put, I took them through the same uh, ritual. Wake up every Sunday, get dressed, go to church, not understanding what it is I'm listening to, being indoctrinated to take in, uh, being indoctrinated as well. Didn't know nothing. I read the Bible stories, read, started reading the Bible when I was like, what? We, a wee bear, when I turned 14, I wanted to get closer to God, so I started reading the Bible. <clears throat> I would go to, go to school, come back before bedtime, read my Bible, because I wanted to get closer to God. It said, draw near to God, and he would draw near to you, right? So I started doing that, okay? And I realized, even though I didn't really understand those parables they had in the Bible, and it was really hard to apply those parables to me, I develop a relationship with the Christ energy. Okay? And what the Christ energy is, it symbolizes something completely different from what we've been told. But that's okay. Knowledge is knowledge. Knowledge is power. So, out of that, and I still ended up on this side of the track. Doing definition. So there is no guarantee just because you're religious today. You're going to be religious for the rest of your life. There could be somebody in this community that's just like that. They've been religious their whole life. Being a pastor, maybe a, pre a preacher, bishop, priest, uh, who, whatever else. <clears throat> and there's nothing wrong with Christ Christianity. Some of the best people I've met were Christ are Christians or were Christians. <clears throat> I've mentioned my godparents on here before. Lovely people. Okay, lovely people took us under, took me under their arms when I was like 14, mentoring me and things like that. But lovely people, nothing ever weird or anything like that. Because you know, sometimes you hear about pastors and their wives taking kids in, they do funny, funny things to them. Nothing ever like that. When I mean like just genuine energy, genuine love. Okay. Just, and it's just, just because you are. Just because you're not Christian anymore does not mean the Christian people are bad. But there are people that misrepresent their religion, that uh, practice. They don't represent it the right way. And they'll misuse religion to make something else seem unholy. I just know Jesus Christ does not stand for that. I just know God, Jesus Christ is the only Lord and Savior. Do you want me to fix it for you? Okay, we are, on, we are in a solar system. We are in a galaxy. There are millions of other galaxies, millions of other planets, okay? And you want people to believe that this one Earth, this one planet is the only one that has people on there. What is the purpose of all the other galaxies? What is the purpose of all the other planets? What is it? Huh? What is it? Why do we have birthmarks? Why do we have a uh, 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 when we meet people we feel so comfortable and familiar with them? Why is that? You don't ever think about those little those subtle questions that are in between our existence. 
why why don't anybody ask these questions and then when you got people to come across, come up and ask these questions oh they're messing up the system everything is fine the way it is them asking these questions or talking about these things makes me feel uncomfortable so i'm going to go ahead and misuse religion i'm going to go tell people that they are trying to destroy and distract people and get people off of the wrong path but the whole time whoever is doing that is all devilish out here devilish they're upset because you're bringing change you are putting a glitch in the matrix you are the glitch in the matrix <clears throat> but it's pissing them off because now they're not able to keep up that facade that they've put up that they're religious uh uh christ is the only way the true and the light and things like that nah jesus christ probably don't even know you and probably wouldn't ask with you <laughs> if he knew you <laughs> You know how he went, you, you, they said he threw that table, uh, he flipped the table in church because people were selling in his father's house. You will be the one who, you will be the table and all the stuff you're selling those people in there. Yeah, Jesus Christ will be losing it with you because you, you're just so small minded. So, G, people quit, are quick to say Jesus Christ is the only way, the true and the light and he's the son, the true son of God. There are millions of people billions of people on this planet okay and if we talk about the origins of the bible who was the first that was created by god wasn't it lucifer the light bringer so wouldn't lucifer be the actual true son of god because he was the first created right so then what makes jesus christ so unique that he would be the only true son of god because there are there, there are other beings that were created before Jesus Christ. Why? Because he was born by a human. What about the rest of us? We come from God. We were born by human. People have had miracle birth, uh, births before. What about Sarah that had a child at ninety nine years old? What about all of them? Was well, it ninety nine or ninety years old? I believe they said ninety nine years old or something like that. What separates Jesus from us? Jesus didn't have gifts that none of us cannot have. It's just his ranking, the work he had done. So what makes Jesus Christ so different, so special? And then if you even look into the... And I'm just saying this is a story to tell us, right? The actual process of, you know, birth and things like that when it comes to Jesus. Well, how old was Mary when she was having this baby? Was 13, 14 years old? What is that? Better, 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 better. You know, times were different then, but I'm pretty sure sure that uh, Joseph, at his age that he was, that probably was not something that was going to be allowed. So people take like the superficial knowledge of the Bible, and they spread that, the basic knowledge, and and they spread that. And everybody is just supposed to go along with it and just say, oh, you know what? You know what? Yeah. Let's destroy this spiritualist. They don't believe in Jesus Christ. The whole time you don't know nothing about Jesus Christ. And let's not even get to the Gnostic Bible. Like, why is the Gnostic, why are those textbooks taken out of the Bible? Why don't they want us to know the truth? Like, why don't, why is it wrong to have knowledge of who we are, our origins, and things like that. Why is it wrong to not go along with the status quo? Why is it wrong to be a glitch? I'm a glitch. Happily a glitch. What's wrong with being a glitch in the matrix? You are in a matrix. And the matrix is not a physical thing where you're getting out of it physically. It's a mental, emotional spirit. You got to get yourself out of the matrix mentally, emotionally, spiritually, in that way. The physical work has to do with you taking care of yourself. The places you go, the, pl the people you surround yourself with. So the matrix is not something where it's like you're physically leaving earth. In a sense, well, you're not leaving earth physically. Spiritually, you leave earth. Because when you pass away, your physical body stays here and your spirit transcends. But... The matrix is not a physical thing. And I think that's where it compli is complicated for people. When you're like, how do you get out the ma out of the matrix? And nobody's telling you how you get out of the matrix. It's your mind. <laughs> that's where that shift between the new earth and the old earth comes into play. 
people that are still in the old earth, they're still under that that that, that simple mindset, that's that uh unawakened mindset, still asleep. They haven't woken up yet. They're not comfortable yet. It makes them feel uncomfortable. They're still into the group thinking. They're still into, oh, it's a lot of money on the line. So we got to destroy this person. We got to make sure they don't reach their destination. Let's send this person in to them and give them a frivolous offer. And they're going to choose them. And they're going to partner up with them. They're going to see them as genuine. You don't realize the whole time you're the one that's in the dark. The person you're sending to, it's not, listen, you're, you're sending someone to Mary. Mary is not in the matrix with you. Mary sees Peter before he even comes. Before you even said you were going to send Peter, Mary already knew you were sending Peter. But you are so deluded, you're so distorted, you think like you are miles ahead of Mary. And because Mary doesn't respond the way that you would typically respond, you think you have a head start on Mary. But Mary don't saw Peter in her dreams, her promenations and things like that before you sent him. So when Peter comes, Mary may entertain Peter for a little while, just friendship, conversation, whatever, whatever she wants to call it, pastime. But I guarantee you when Mary is done, you know, fool, fooling around, entertaining Peter, she's going to tell him, hey, Peter, I know they sent you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't going to stop doing what, I did, what it is the, 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 the universe told me to do. No, I'm not getting enough my path. No, I don't want this from you. No, I don't want to be part of your coving. No, I don't want to be part of your group thinking. It's unhealthy. It's dangerous. You don't see it as dangerous, but it's dangerous. So no, thank you. Whoever sent you, give them my greetings. Okay? But when you are in the dark, you don't know that. You think, oh, we're going to, this is a marvelous plan. Oh, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Why are you Herculesing? You didn't do nothing, but set yourself back. <laughs> they said you got out here and said, because I keep hearing this. They told somebody, they told people that you that someone was dumb. You got out here and defamed somebody. You got out here and stole from somebody. You got out here and blocked somebody. You got out here and did all kinds of stuff. And because now the truth is coming that out that all of that was was based on nothing but lies. You, instead of just owning up to your mistake, you want to keep going because your ego has told you to keep going. And as you keep going, you keep destroying yourself because these towers are going to keep coming repeatedly until you you you, you stop going. So the universe said they they have unlimited options in, when it comes to how much they can destroy in your life, the problems it can cause for you. So they're going to keep causing those problems. Losing your jobs, losing your finances, your marriages, kids, and things like that. Dogs, house, cars, everything. They said they don't care. And there's somebody behind the scenes. Maybe you all aren't aware of them. They're about to wreak havoc in you all's life. I mean, like taking you all down one at a time. One, You know, like lights out. It's a, a bunch of switches lined up. And he, she is just about to be going off, 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 off. Up, up, just flicking those lights up. And when I mean flicking those lights up, it's causing problems in your lives. And they're going to do it in a really sophisticated way. They say, I lost my job. I'm going to jail. They took my kid away. <laughs> what am I going to do? I don't got no car. I don't lost my house. Why are you crying? That's what you wanted for somebody else. That's what you wanted for somebody else. And that's what we say. Life is a projection of the energy you put out. If you put that energy out, be okay with it coming back to you. So if you are okay with somebody losing their kid, be okay with you losing your kid. If you're okay with hiring someone to, to dishonor another person, be okay with you being dishonored. Or maybe one of your kids, your sister, your mother being dishonored. You should be okay with it. Don't cry in our ears. We don't want to hear your problems. Because you're okay with all of these things happening to somebody else. You should be okay with it happening to you. Nobody cares. You don't want to hear uh, logic because there's somebody in this group that does not like to hear logic. She don't want people to, to uh, she don't like healing. It bothers her because this is someone with too many demons in her closets to, uh, to attend to, to face. 
So healing bothers her. So people like myself that speak knowledge into people, we give people the option to see things from a different perspective, to introspect. It bothers her. It bothers him. But as I said, whatever you're okay with doing to somebody else, you should be okay with that happening to you. And it don't matter what it is. Losing a dog, car, house, child, whatever. You should be okay with that happening to you, your your your, your kids, your sisters, your brothers, your 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 your, your family members, whoever your close. Think of think of like the most important person to you. Whatever you did to Peter or, or or Mary, you should be okay with that happening to that person. That's the most important to you, because it's gonna happen. Oh, it's gonna happen, because the universe is on that eye for eye thing. <laughs> they don't care. <laughs> Their 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 uh, idea of an eye for an eye is uh, is more barbaric than here. It's a oh you want Mary to be what dishonored? That's okay. We're gonna have your your child be dishonored, so you can know what it feels like. We're gonna have your mother be dishonored. We're gonna have your sister be dishonored. Don't cry now. This is what you wanted. Hey now, this is what you came for, right? So we're gonna give that to you. Your wishes are command. You don't understand magic. It's like it's a bunch of grown-ups playing dress-up. Your emotions are all over the place. You're insecure. You don't know how to manage your emotions. Something, you decided to build something on faulty grounds. Lie, cheat, steal. Play with magic. Don't know magic. Somebody said they've been doing magic for 40 years. I don't know if this is somebody's grandfather. You know, you've been manipulating for 40 years. You've been manipulating for 40 years. That's not magic. Okay? So, whatever it is you're okay with doing to somebody else, be sure you're, you're 100%. Be 100% sure that you're okay with it happening to you or the closest person to you. I mean, like, who is that one person that when they say, who do you love? Hey, who do you love? That person comes to mind. You should be okay with it happening to them because that's exactly what's going to happen. That's how the universe works. It happens when you least expect it. It's said, oh, you had this person kid taken away from them because what? You were jealous? Or you tried to have this person kid taken away from them because what? You were jealous? Oh, you love your two-year-old? You adore that two-year-old. Oh, they are so cute, aren't they? Okay, we're going to have them taken from you. Don't cry. Because this is when you all come out and you're looking for sympathy. They took my baby away. <laughs> what did you do for them to take the baby away? We're listening. We're, we're waiting. What did you do? You neglected the baby. Then feed the baby. Then watch the baby. Then tend to the baby. Then love on the baby. Nothing. You were too busy stalking somebody else online. Oh, they dishonor my, my mama. What happened? You're in magic, right? What happened? Why did they dishonor her? Is it because you went and hired People to dishonor somebody else. Oh, they took my money away. Why did they take your money away? Weren't you trying to steal out of somebody else's account? So, so let me get it right. It's only okay when it happens to somebody else, but when it happens to you, what well, you want remorse, you want sympathy, you want attention. Nobody got any attention to give to you. Somebody is about to pass away from magic, and ain't nobody gonna be crying over you. There's something where it's that they want people to feel like they're going to want people to feel sympathy for you. But when the truth come out about what it is you've really been doing, ain't nobody's going to cry for you. Nobody's going to cry for you. It's going to be that shit. I ain't going to cry over them. They were wicked as heck. That's what they were out here doing. And you want us to what, pretend like we give. They don't care. They ain't gonna, they're not going to cry over you. Somebody's about to pass away. And maybe you're expecting people to be there crying, boo-hoo-hoo, snot nose coming out of their noses and things. I mean, snot boogers coming out of their noses and things, running down their tears, running down their face. Nah, sniffing all over the place, looking for tissue to wipe their face and blow their... Nah, nah, nah. They're going to be looking at... They're going to be sitting at work. They're going, oh, this person passed away. Oh, really? Because of the energy you were in. Like, people are waking up. So when you pass away, ain't nobody going to be crying for you. Doesn't that bother you? To pass away and nobody shows up at your funeral, but the funeral director and the, 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 the people carrying the casket and maybe a few people that have to be there. 
got to be there. So they only got there. They only went there because they had to be there. But okay. Pop off. Keep popping off. Somebody, King of Cups, I think you're someone from somebody's past. You're losing everything. You got legal issues coming in. About to be going through still meeting. Like, whatever you've been doing out here, I picked up on a King of Cups from the past and a King of Cups that just imbalance a narcissist both of them aren't the same but the both of you got problems coming in i'm talking about bad karma like it's gonna be hitting you back to back to back to back to back but you won't even know what to do this is like you're going to people for help they can help you but they ain't gonna help you because this is what you manifested for somebody else it said don't help her i said don't help her like somebody is so unhinged at the thought of something being balanced for you it pisses them off Oh, who's giving him money? Who's giving her money? Who She's going to be successful. He's going to be successful. Like someone is unhinged. Maybe I don't even know how to do it. <laughs> I don't know how to be disinvested in other people's lives. It just turns me off. Come on. I'm fabulous by myself. I don't need nobody else's energy. Come on. <laughs> losing their mind you don't want to reconcile with them one of them is a i don't know who this one is you probably worked with or something just a narcissist a cold-blooded narcissist just pretending to be something they're not but the both of them about to be going through karma back to back to back to back to back i mean the universe is about to strip some people off of everything i mean like just begging on the street someone's about to become a be they're about to become a drunk and they're going to be watching you as you elevate in life. Talk about, I know she can help me. I know he can help me. They just don't want to help me. No, they don't want to help you. What did you do to them? That's the part y'all be forgetting. What did you do? What did you do to this person that they don't want to help you? Why didn't you all ever think of that? And you're going through karma and still taking actions to do the same thing that you are not supposed to be doing. But then when this person come up, you want them to help you. Talking about, I know they can help me. They just don't want to help me. I just need to get to them. Just let me in. You ain't going to be letting you nowhere. Like this is a situation where let's say someone's been trying to destroy you. They've been destroying or slowing down your growth or something. Your money, your products and whatever it is you do, right? And it just so happened the universe gets you together. They said, come on, child. This is something, this is done. We're done with this. Come on, child. They take you from, you know, the, 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 the they take you from, from the hood and put you at Beverly Hills or just in a good neighborhood, living a good life. You know, you, 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 you suffer enough, baby. You suffer enough. We know you are committed to us. Okay. Here comes the moron from your past or whoever this, these are. They want you to give to them because the universe don't want to strip them off of everything because they told them to stop doing something, but they want, they had something to prove. It was a lot of money on the line. It's what I keep hearing. It's a lot of money on the line. This person is making us look bad and blah, 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 blah. No, you're making yourself look bad for what you're doing. But anyways, the universe, elevate, the universe elevates you. Here they come. Oh my gosh, Maria. Oh my gosh, Peter, can you help us? I know she can help us. I know she can help me. I ain't gonna help you. What did you do to Maria? Did you, what did you know to, do to Peter? Right? I just heard I just heard Ruth and Boaz. So maybe it's a Boaz that's about to be out here, take his Ruth out of wherever she is and put her in a good place. And now these crazy people are gonna are gonna come to Ruth or try to get a hold of Ruth and say, Hey Ruth, I just wanted to see how you're doing. He said, you didn't want to see how Ruth was doing when Ruth was in the ghetto? <laughs> you, didn't know, you didn't want to know how Ruth was doing when Ruth was in the slums? And you knew Ruth was going through hard times, struggling, trying to take care of herself. I see the page of cups out here. So maybe her and her kid, her and her kids. I see a couple of kid cars out here. Mm -hmm. you, you didn't want to know how Ruth was doing, right? Ruth maybe even asked you for help and you acted like you didn't see it. You didn't hear it. He says, <laughs> you probably took the message to all the people and said, look, 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 she's asking me for money. He's asking me for money. Look, 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 look. <laughs> now, if Ruth was petty, Ruth could go ahead and show a boy ass and be the head, look, 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 look. <laughs> or ask her, tell her kids or her family. 
But this is, this is what it's about to be. It's like people coming up to you trying to get help from you. And you ain't going to be giving nothing to these people. If the universe don't touch your heart to help them, don't do it. Because you could be putting yourself in, in a bind. Sometimes spiritually, that's you taking your abundance and giving it to them. And then you end up in poverty again. And then they're back on top. So be careful who it is you give assistance to. Okay? But anyways, I've gone long enough. Thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.